demonstrate the Republican that we are totally against the SB bill that is going on in, in Arizona right now. In Minnesota, we are totally opposed to this. Like, yeah, he is supporting this bill, so we want to show them we are totally against this bill. And we also are demanding legalization for all, to Democrats, Democrats and Republicans. We as a community, as an immigrant community, we have to take the street and show the administration, Obama's administration, we're going to be struggling, fighting for our rights. What this law is going to be doing is stereotyping with the Latino community, not just the Latino community, but the people of color. So the police, now we have the power to stop anyone who looks immigrant. I'm an immigrant too, and I'm from South Africa, and, um, and this just reminds me of my growing up in South Africa, where South African blacks were forced to carry passes, documents, and which puts a, um, a huge amount of pressure on the police, and the police start abusing the people that aren't carrying the passes and that is apartheid. So what's happening in Arizona could easily skyrocket into something, some human rights issues and abuse that, that happened in South Africa and I think we have to stop it now. We all immigrants, this is the whole nation of immigrants, should remember that. Uh, I'm here representing the Interfaith Coalition on Immigration and also the Minnesota uh, United Church of Christ Task Force to stand with immigrants to fight for their rights and in particular against the Arizona uh, bill that is basically sanctifying racial profiling. Do you see this as an ethical issue? It's a moral issue, it's a spiritual issue, it's a political issue, it's everything. Um, I'm very happy Where to say... it's a political football? Is that why it's come about? Because it may not even stand a constitutional test. Um, I think it reflects uh, the overall mean-spiritedness of a large group of people. Um, and for that reason, I don't think we should look at Arizona as separate from us here in Minnesota. It's been endorsed by several politicians yes. here already, and, and we including have, Tom Emmer. And we have a 287G contract, which we just learned about. That Could was, you explain that, please? A 287G contract gives the um, police their deputized to do the work of ICE. Oh. And that contract was signed in October of 2009. So our coalition is actually asking a very doable ask that Obama administration suspend all enforcement during during the census taking until the end of the year. Um, and that's a tiny thing to ask.
um, is my with my law enforcement background. I think that um, a law that forces people to carry and show birth certificates is going to actually hurt solving crimes because pe people will be less likely to talk to the police, and it's going to make people reticent, and it's going to hurt the the effort to reduce crime. And that's it's I a very to pragmatic thing. South Africa this morning already, and um, she said that she was really worried about police abuse because it's so easy then to ask for this. Exactly. Um, you know, we have trouble with our peace vigils. They they give tickets to people who honk, who honk for peace. Can you imagine now with this extra tool to say that you can't be there unless you have a birth certificate? So, I mean, again, it's just very, it's got a lot of ramifications and it's, uh, we're going down the wrong path. You know, you look suspiciously like North, you're from Northern Europe to me. <laughs> <laughs> My great great grandparents, three greats, uh, Luke and Elizabeth Cheney, were in 1860s were some of the early settlers in Dundas from England. They were immigrants. Terrible bill. What do you think it's going to do? Victimize people. More imprisonment, more jail, more persecution. You can't stop somebody in the street just because you think they may need to be stopped. It's cause. That's what that's the whole thing is about cause. So this is uh, no human being is illegal. You know, uh, we've heard everybody explaining, uh, you know, undocumented Im immigrants as illegals. And uh, we feel that, that that's not a right word to use. So we're all standing here in solidarity to show you that all human beings are humans. We can be undocumented, documented, but we're looking for comprehensive immigration reform. That's why we're here. Thank you. Thank you. From Lakeville. We're Lakeville Republicans. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but I'm here for the kids. I think people are more complicated than just two things. Done here. What can we? What is the solution? That's um. We know the problem. Oh, I see what happens to the kids and the families. We have 1.7 million undocumented children in the K-12 system in the United States. Another four plus million children that have at least one member of their family that doesn't have status. And I, I'm for family unity and humane reform of laws. Uh, there's, but I think a six or seven year back. Are you a nurse or a teacher or something? I'm an upstate New York teacher, actually. I, I taught in upstate New York. I taught for a year in Minnesota. And I volunteer now on behalf of the wonderful families that inspired me. We have to make sure that Minnesota is a place where everybody is welcome. Absolutely everybody is welcome. And that we don't have to worry in Minnesota that just because you have a different religion or different skin or a different set of beliefs, you're going to be treated differently. And that's why I'm running for governor. Because education, job opportunities, let's make Minnesota a place for everybody. What happens with this law? What would happen if it would affect you? Well, I'm really concerned that uh, we can't have Minnesota become a place of intolerance. The reason why we've gotten ahead in the state of Minnesota is because we've been a place people have wanted to come. Norwegian immigrants a hundred years ago, and new immigrants now, and that's part of our economic strength. And coming from Worthington, a city that is very diverse, I know our strength is when we have lots of different people. Well, you know, I think if we want to make sure that we're going to do well in Minnesota, we don't want to have the politics of fear, we want the politics of hope. And I'm sorry that Tom, uh, Tom Emmer is embracing the politics of fear. Good, thank you. Buenas tardes, gigante! Oh, I'm just by myself. You say you're with the National Socialist Movement on the other side of the street, is that true? I'm not with anybody right now. Uh -huh. I'm with the update. My name is Craig. Hi. What can you hear me? I'm just videotaping the parade.